Hey guys, so I'm back with another tutorial. I hope you guys really like how it turned out. I'm really excited for it because I did not plan this look. I just sat down with some eyeshadow colors and came up with this. So yeah, let's jump into the info part of the tutorial. So my eyes are already primed with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I am going in with the color Tuscan Sun in my crease which is pretty much just a pinkish orange shade which you can basically call a coral. And after that, I'm going to be using Cranberry from MAC and focusing this on my outer V and just following the line of where the tape leads, like that it's going to create a really nice crisp effect. Now I'm going to be taking my favorite color from MAC of all time. You guys hear me talk about this a lot. This is Sketch from MAC which is pretty much just like a deep wine color. And we're going to be focusing this on the outer V as well just to deepen up that cranberry color. And I'm placing it a little bit on my eyelid on the outer part of it. And we're going to be dusting it slightly into the crease just to create a nice ombre type of effect. For this look, I'm not doing any winged liner. I wanted it to be pretty simple, although really glam. So we're not going to be using any eyeliner. So that's why I placed the tape on the outside of my eyelids. It really helps create this really nice cat eye effect. And to just intensify it, since as I said, we're not using any black liner, I took some black eyeshadow. This one's Corrupt by Makeup Geek, and I'm literally just tracing the line and bringing it a little bit on the outer V of the eyelid, and then dusting whatever's left on my brush upwards. And then after, we're just going to go in with a clean brush and make sure that everything is blended together. For my brow bone highlight, as usual, I'm using Shimmer Shimmer by Makeup Geek. I just love this so much, can't you tell? All my videos, I use this. As usual, we're just going to make sure everything is well blended. That's why you see me going back and forth with a clean, fluffy brush. Now, moving on to the eyelid shade. This is Millionaire from ColourPop, which is this beautiful metallic bronze. I suggest to apply it with a flat synthetic brush first to make sure your application is even and then apply it with your fingers like that you get the most intensity out of it. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to be going in with the color sketch first and just pretty much lining it with the eyeshadow. And then afterwards, I'm going to be taking a bit of the color Cranberry and using it the first third of the way in. And after that, I decided to take a little bit of Millionaire on that same flat synthetic brush that we used prior to this and just add a little bit of sparkle on the lower lash line since I am going to be using some glitter today in the inner tear duct. For our inner corner today, we're going to be using some glitter. So this is a glitter liner from BH, which is called Rapture. And it's like this silvery gold champagne shade. It's so beautiful. And I'm just applying that simply in the inner corner and bringing it down a little bit so that it blends in well with our lower lash line. After that, I'm just applying some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. Now moving on to concealer, I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Concealer in light and since this is a glam look and it's more so for going out, we're going to do this really intensely. So I'm bringing it all the way out across my eyelid space and bringing it down a little in a V-shaped formation. 
I let it set for about 10 minutes so that it gets a little bit more crystallized and like that I don't have to use powders because my skin just does not react well to them. During that time, I just apply my falsies. Today it's the Red Cherry 138. And then I'll just go in with my beauty blender and press it into the skin and it creates this really beautiful porcelain effect and it does not crease throughout the day. For bronzer today, I'm going to be using the Shade and Light palette and I'm going in a little bit more intensely, maybe with about two layers. And then I go in with my beauty blender just to make sure that everything is smoothed out. For blush, I'm using Romance by Makeup Geek. And for my highlighters, I went in with a gold, which is Max Oh Darling. I didn't find it intense enough, so I went in with my favorite one of all time, next to Becca Zopel, which is Mary Luminizer by The Balm. And it's just this beautiful, intense champagne shade, and it really pulled the look together. Moving on to the lips, today I'm using Spice by MAC to line them. And for my lipstick today, I'm using She Bad by ColourPop. And since it's a matte lipstick and I really like glossy lips, I'm going in with MAC's Lip Glass in Oyster Girl. So this is the final look. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!